Bats are the only mammals that can fly. But vampire bats have an even more interesting distinction. They're the only mammals that feed entirely on blood. These notorious bats sleep during the day in total darkness suspended upside down from roofs of caves. After sleeping upside down in the darkness all day, vampire bats emerge when the moon appears in order to hunt for food. Despite being incredibly strong flyers, the design of their arms and legs means that they can also move about on the ground with surprising speed and agility. Vampire bats fly about a meter above the ground in search of a warm-blooded animal, and once found, they land close to it. The vampire bat then crawls up to its generally sleeping victim before biting it and feeding on the flowing blood. Vampire bats tend to be solitary hunters but roost together in colonies that usually contain around 100 individuals, but sometimes live in groups of 1,000 or more. In one year, a 100-bat colony can drink the blood of 25 cows. During the darkest part of the night, common vampire bats emerge to hunt. Sleeping cattle and horses are their usual victims, but they've been known to feed on people as well. Rather than sucking blood like a vampire, these bats make a small cut with their teeth, then lap up the flowing blood with their tongues. The animals are so light and graceful that they can sometimes drink blood from an animal for more than 30 minutes without waking it up. The blood sucking doesn't even hurt their prey. They don't remove enough blood to harm their host, but their bites can cause nasty infections and disease. Vampire bats strike their victims from the ground, they land near the prey and approach it on all fours. The bats have few teeth because of their liquid diet, but those that they have are razor sharp. Each bat has a heat sensor on its nose that points it toward the spot where warm blood is flowing just beneath the victim's skin. Heat sensors on their noses help them find a good spot on the animal's body to feed, and strong hind legs and a special thumb help them take off after feeding. After putting the bite on an animal, the vampire bat laps up the flowing blood with its tongue. Its saliva prevents the blood from clotting. Because blood is about 80% water, vampire bats have a highly specialized mechanism to coat with the formidable weight they accrue each time they feed. Urination to remove excess water from ingested blood begins as soon as they start to feed. Their highly efficient kidneys enabling them to concentrate adequate protein from their meal. Vampire bats have special adaptations to help them with the special way they feed. For instance, researchers discovered that the flying mammals can locate prey by sensing the sound of an animal breathing. These bats can even recognize the breathing patterns of one animal, like a cow, and return to feed from it night after night. Unlike other species of bats, vampire bats can walk, run, and jump, which helps them attack their prey. What happens if vampire bats don't get their nightly meal? Life's not easy for vampire bats. If they can't find blood for two nights in a row, they'll die. But some vampire bats seem to be generous. Well-fed bats will regurgitate or spit up blood to share with others in exchange for grooming. Captive female bats seem especially friendly toward new mothers. After a baby is born, other bats have been observed feeding the mom for about two weeks after the birth. While vampire bats are truly fascinating animals, they can create legitimate problems when they exist in large numbers near people and domestic animals. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos in the future. Also, hit the bell icon to stay up to date and be the first one to watch our latest videos. Let us know in the comment box below if you have any suggestions for our future videos.